Well, you uh, like you said, it looks really good this weekend. It's just as you have been telling us, it's just getting to the weekend. Getting there is half the fun, and I don't mean that in the good way. Right. So yeah, we are looking at more heavy rain potential. How many times have we said that over the last right. month? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah we've got rain out there now. It's increasing in coverage as we are looking this evening for you. We're quarter after six on the Max Track Live Doppler, and again, any one of these can drop. Big time downpours. Uh, quite a bit of lightning now with the storm coming out of Adair County, moving into the southwest corner there of Casey County, a little south of Clemensville. Northern part of Wayne County up to around Burnside there over Lake Cumberland. Again, good downpour in progress. Uh, back to the west of Campbellsville, seeing some of those. There's a little light shower still. It's just in the southwest corner there of Mercer County. Stronger storms, though, northern part of Franklin County back into Shelby County. Then especially as you get up into Owen County, a lot of lightning with that storm. Raining heavily along Highway 127. Uh, you are looking at North Middletown there in Bourbon County. That shower's just gone up along 460. And then, oh, between Stanton and over towards Slade along the Mountain Parkway, got a shower. And you folks, between Beattyville and Heidelberg there along the Kentucky River near Highway 52. It's raining hard at this point. So then this heavy tropical air mass, it's still here. There is a ton of water available. The front that's triggering the storms, you can outrun that front. It is just hanging around. But once the secondary front, the one that has a little giddy up to it, it'll get here Thursday evening. When it does, it's going to clear all this out. And when it does, we get a little touch of September. Until that happens. Here's your flood watch. It is area wide. It is through tomorrow night. Here's the setup. Here is your aforementioned slow moving front. The air aloft basically running parallel to the front. So there's no push to get it to go away. So you've got the very high moisture content. You've got weak steering currents throughout the column of the atmosphere. So there's no push to move these storms along. So once they get going, they sit and they drop water and they drop it in abundance because there's plenty of storm food available. This is precipitable water. When you see all these dark reds showing up, which we have through tomorrow and going on into tomorrow evening, uh, that means that you can make these efficient rainmakers, but in this instance, the greens and the blues, they are dry air and that wins the battle by Thursday morning. So you are looking at that chance for locally heavy rain tonight that lasts into the day tomorrow. When you're looking at the map here, you're going to focus on your town. Don't do that. What I want you to do with this is essentially look at what the model is telling us because these numbers will change model run to model run. But what it's telling us is there's going to be corridors of real heavy rain interspersed with folks that don't get nearly as much. So uh, when you're even seeing that red bullseye there, that tells you that somebody's going to get a three or four inch rain soaking out of this. And that's where flooding is most likely. So the flood watch covers the entire area, but the overall effects will be in narrow corridors. We just can't tell you exactly where those corridors are going to be yet. That front, though, is just hanging around. There's through midnight going on into the day. Tomorrow, it's still here. Rain and thunderstorms are right along it. Tomorrow, the front begins to push south, but still plenty of rain all along that front, and some of that rain will be heavy. There's your secondary front coming through. There is the air from Canada that will be cooler, less humid, and rain-free. That's a good thing at this point. Right now in Lexington, it's 88 after a high today of 90. We are focusing this week our spotlight on Moorhead. Right now it is 88 degrees in Rowan County with a heat index in the 90s. All right, for tonight, flood watch continues. Rain and thunderstorms scattered around. They'll taper off some later tonight. Be in the low 70s, so still muggy. Flood watch continues tomorrow. Rain and thunderstorms likely. Again, locally heavy rain will be in the low 80s. Storms are ending Thursday morning. Low 80s. Friday looks dry. Upper 70s and less humid. At this point, the weekend looks spectacular.